guys, I'm back. And since I showed you how to make the landing page and that's a little bit different from what it would be like if you were creating a form, like a regular form, I'm gonna show you how to create a form based on the templates that they provide. And so the form that I would like to show you is, um, let's do a pop-up form. All right, so here are your options for a pop-up form. You can have one with the picture and we can have one that's just the list. I'm gonna do a plain one this time. And um, again, it's gonna ask you right away, how do you want, um, who, what list do you wanna put these, get these people from? I want it to be from my Flowdesk training. So I'm gonna click on save. And now this is how it looks. It's just the pop-up, so this gray on the outside doesn't matter. It's gonna be the background, or the background of it's gonna be whatever's on your website. So the only thing that you need to worry about editing is the stuff in the box. So again, you know I'm not a fan of these fonts, so I'm gonna do, this looks like this is really pretty. Ooh, I kinda of like that, let's do that. And I like to use my brand colors, so I'm gonna go with, mm, let's do brown. And then, um, again, you can change the font to whatever you want to. Let's do that. That is entirely too small. And the line spacing is just way too much. So I'm going to reduce that. That looks great. It looks like it's black. Okay, now it's officially black. All right. So now, I'm going to make sure everything looks good. I don't like that, that font in there is different from other fonts. I'm going to make it drop caps, I'm gonna make it the same font that I used up there. That looks fantastic. And then I'm going to change this, join the VIP list. All right, that sounds really exclusive. This time I'm gonna have a round button, a little bit of a rounded corner. And I definitely like to change everything to my favorite. Now this thing gives you an option to change the fields. So you can capture first name and last name. I wanna actually get the first name because I like to send emails and say, hi, first name. So I wanna make sure that that's here. So you can do that, but you can also add last name as well if that's a field that you've added. I only want the first name in that. So that looks good to me. I, um, let's see here. I'm gonna change this background color just so I can see how it looks. Oh, that looks really good. Okay, so now you wanna see how it looks in mobile. Always check to see how it's gonna look in mobile. And it looks like they are gonna let you see a little bit of this background color. So since this is a pop-up, it must pop up with a little bit of a background color. So that's nice to see that this would still match my website if it popped up on my website. And it looks very beautiful. All right, that's very simple. You can change the canvas color. This is your canvas. So say I want this to be pink or, or you know tan or some weird color. You can do that as well. I like to keep this white. All right, so now don't forget that you can change your message to the options that they have. This time I'm gonna go friendly and that's fine with me. Okay, so taking one more look at it, I think we're good. You can change the background opacity. So say you want the background to show what's on your website page, then you can change this opacity. The more opacity you have, the less of your background they're gonna see, and the less opacity you have, the more of your um, website they're gonna see. So that's it for those. I selected everything I needed, and now let's go in here. So now, because this is a pop-up, they want to know when you want this pop-up to happen. Do you want it to be right when someone gets on your website? Which I can tell you right now, it's very annoying. Like, give me a second, let me get settled in. <laughs> and then you can do it five seconds after they visit your website, 10 seconds after they visit, 15 seconds, or when they scroll a certain percentage down the page. I think that it's always great to have it pop up after a little bit, because maybe people didn't scroll. Maybe they're reading something at the top. I don't want to miss that, that opportunity to get them on my list. So I'm going to say, you know, 10 seconds after they've landed on my website. And now, do you want to show this to returning visitors? Because say somebody has already subscribed to your list. Well, you don't want them to keep getting the offer to subscribe to the list because that's just a waste of time. So no, I wanted to hide it from returning visitors. So I select that option. 
Next, do you want to be notified? Yes, you sure do. So I'm going to click yes. And then what do you want to happen after the form is submitted? I am going to, I've already shown you how to connect it to a URL. So this time it's just going to be the, so, um, the success message that we chose, which was the friendly tone. I like that. And now, because this is, a, um, this is a form that needs to go on your website, you need to actually embed this on your website. So there's a code right here. Don't be intimidated. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video.